Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Today I've decided to start following Cat Hand's mixed media morsels, and I will start with the plastic wrap technique. In Cat's videos, she uses a small notebook, but I've chosen to use index cards instead. These ones come from our local stationery store and are size A6, or about 4 by 6 inches for those of you working in inches. I prepared this one with two light coats of white gesso as I didn't want the paint seeping right into the cardstock. These are acrylic paints that I've watered down. The mixture is about one part paint to two parts water. It should be runny. In fact, I think I watered them down a bit too much in the sample, but as you'll see at the end, the result was quite stunning. So I'm not being too pedantic with where I place the colours, but I did decide to use the lighter colour first. The three colours I've chosen are because I know that I can make other colours with them. For instance, yellow and blue makes green, pink and blue makes purple, and pink and yellow makes orange. The only thing I can suggest is to be careful of mixing colours together that make mud. Use a piece of plastic wrap, you know the same stuff you would use to cover your food with? Also, be sure you don't let the paint dry out. The secret to this technique is that when we place the plastic wrap over it, the paint will still be wet. Now scrunch it up to form ridges. This is what makes the technique so special. I'm just adding more paint to the corners and the edges here. Now I have to practice patience, which I have very little of, and leave this to dry overnight. So I moved the index card onto a piece of paper to dry and as you can see all that water had nowhere else to go but down, so the card stuck to the paper a little bit. No matter, I merely pulled it off. And finally the big reveal. I just love these colours. The sheen you see here comes from the plastic wrap. And look, there's a little bit of dendritic printing coming through too. How I did that is beyond me. See where the white veins are? That's where the plastic wrap absorbed the paint, leaving the gesso exposed. Well, thank you for watching my video. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up so that it encourages me to do more. And please consider subscribing to my channel. You're also welcome to join me on Facebook. All the details are in the description box below. Take care and have a great day. Bye for now.